Welcome to Node Interactive. I'm glad you could be here today. Um, I'm Mark. I am the Dread Pirate Roberts oh, this is a little class, of Node.js. I've been here since uh, March, and it has been a wild ride, um, and a good one at that. Um, what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit about where we are with Node.js, give you a little State of the Union. I always wanted to give a State of the Union. Unlike some of our world leaders, I don't have to lie during it because the State of the Union is great. But before we do that, I wanted to thank our sponsors. Uh, this event wouldn't be possible without the support of <clears throat> IBM, Google, Nearform, and so many others. Um, it wouldn't be um, possible for us to do this without the support of our foundation's uh, members, and it wouldn't be possible for us to do this without you. So thank you very much. Uh, before we get started, I just want you to take note that we do have a code of conduct. Be good to each other, treat each other with respect, have a good time. So let's start with what's really exciting, Node.js. Every day there are 8.8 .8 million Node.js instances running. Every week there are 3 billion Node.js packages downloaded from the NPM registry. We have over 39,000 stars on GitHub. If you like Node.js, maybe you could give us another star and we could get to 40,000. There's over 1,500 contributors to Node.js. Every week, there are 4,800 new packages published to Node.js. That's one every two minutes. And since the beginning of this year, there have been 800,000 instances of Node.js that came online. Pretty impressive. So the state of the union is strong. Node.js is recognized among high traffic websites as a leader. So a um, research firm, W3 Tax, recently looked at the high, top 100 most traffic websites on the internet. And what was interesting to me was that Node.js uh, showed up in the large percentage of them, more so than Nginx, more so than um, HTTPD. Um, these are some of our users and contributors to Node.js and is something that I like to brag about. This year, we, we did a uh, survey of how you use Node.js and we got a lot of uh, information back in my slides here, you're going to see a lot of graphs. That graphs came from our 2017 user survey. Uh, we're going to launch our 2018 survey this week, and we really appreciate you participating. Um, <clears throat> not surprising, 73% of you told us that uh, backend systems were um, what you did with Node.js. But what's also interesting is that we see a variety of applications um, like IoT and mobile on the rise as well. And we have some pretty spiffy um, use cases. One of my favorite ones is the new NASA space suits actually embed <laughs> Node.js in the space suits. So um, we're out of this world. <laughs> I'll be here all week, folks. All right. So I give a lot of talks about Node.js. Not everybody I talk to is as savvy on Node.js as you are out there. So I start out with the technical description of what Node.js. Same thing it says on Node.js.org. Unfortunately, that is the response I get a lot of times, is they're like, I don't know what V8 is, I don't know what the importance of JavaScript is, isn't that the stuff that made my menus twirl around in the, in the uh, 1990s? But then I start talking about how we run the world's most interesting infrastructure and start saying that we are <clears throat> um, the platform that Twitter's mobile traffic flows through, that Uber, Airbnb, and Netflix all use Node.js, that WordPress's new stack is actually um, built with Node.js, Wired Magazine, The Guardian, New York Times all run Node.js. Um, then they get pretty excited. There's always the dude in the middle. That guy is always skeptical. Afterwards, he asks me questions. But once I get their attention, I start to talk about Node and the community. And the community around Node is very interesting to me. <clears throat> the 
community around Node is passionate and smart and loud and engaged, and I like that. And then I tell them they're sort of like my spirit animal. You guys know who this is? Henry Rollins, punk rocker. And <clears throat> Henry Rollins was part of the punk movement. He was a musician, he's a writer, he's a publisher, he's a creator, he's loud, he is intense, and he's an advocate for change. <clears throat> I liken the punk rock movement to the open source development movement of the 21st century. And I think there's a lot of, of similarities. So <clears throat> this is the sort of Wikipedia definition of punk rock. It's the um, movement where people self-produced recordings, distributed them through informal channels, were very DIY oriented. They cared about freedom. Authenticity was important to them. <clears throat> All of these things are very similar to what we do in open source and specifically Node.js. And by the end of the, 21st, <clears throat> the 20th century, um, J or, um, punk rock became mainstream and Node.js is becoming mainstream today. This is us. Green Day, Blink-182, The Offspring, Sum 41, all have sold more than 10 million copies of a single album. These are the guys that sort of stood there and waved less than five fingers at the establishment. Uh, Green Day has a Broadway musical. My buddy Henry Rollins uh, writes for LA Weekly and sells out um, uh, spoken word tours all over the place. They're part of the establishment now. We're part of the establishment now. We also have the rare opportunity to be some, part of something big. I've been in open source for about 20 years, and I've always wanted to be part of a big, important project. And luckily, I've gotten my wish with Node.js. But now people count on what we do. All those logos and infrastructure that we talked about earlier, they count on Node.js to be stable and be around for the next I don't know how many year, years. Honestly, when I got into tech 20 years ago, if you would have told me that JavaScript would be the number one developed language in the world in 2017, I probably would have laughed at you. And I'm still sort of shocked that it is, um, but it is. And the most important and transformational technology that came into the JavaScript ecosystem in the last 10 years is Node.js. So what do we got to do now? We got to make sure that Node.js is sustainable. And that means that we have to put procedures in place in our development so that we continue to scale. We need to make sure that we have governance that is good. We need to build diversity in our community. We need to add more users and make sure they feel welcome. And we need to continue to tell other people outside of our community what Node.js JS is and why it's important. <clears throat> oh, sorry. So when I talk to our board of directors and I talk to our members, I, I talk about how we become sustainable and what our initiatives need to be going forward. And they come down to three things. We need to, to keep growing our user base. We need to engage with our developers and our users. And we need to educate people on Node.js. And that's what our next uh, year and forward it looks like with Node. So grow. Our growth has been enviable. This is the Google Trends line. I always like the Google Trends line because you can manipulate it to make, good, make it look good or bad, depending on what the case may be. I didn't really manipulate this. This was the default one. I just took the screenshot. <clears throat> um, but our, our usage is increasing. I showed you the numbers earlier, and they are shockingly good. We also see, as I mentioned, that JavaScript is growing. Um, this, is, this is actually a um, snippet from our user survey talking about what languages those of you have used and what the trends were. 
Um, obviously, Node.js and JavaScript are increasing. Some of the other languages that people were developing in are decreasing PHP and Ruby, Java. Um, <clears throat> We also are growing throughout the world. This is every single geography that we, we polled told us that they were growing, and they were growing at a um, substantial rate. They're increasing their use of Node.js. Latin America is one of our um, most active geographies. Um, everything is aces. We're also getting good third-party validation um, <clears throat> from the industry. Uh, Battery Ventures is a, uh, has put together an open source index of the top enterprise grade, most active open source projects. And we're in very good company. We are number four after things like Linux, Git, and MySQL. We're even ahead of Docker, Docker, Docker. Um, <clears throat> And we also see great satisfaction of our users and our developers in Node.js. 68% um, of you have told us that your productivity has increased since using Node.js, that you're happy with Node.js, that your development costs have gone down, and your application performance has increased. And people like Node.js. There is a great affinity for our technology. I do not know of another community where people are as passionate about their technology as Node.js. 18% um, <clears throat> points more likely to become a guru um, than those that haven't used Node.js. It's one of the interesting pieces of feedback. <clears throat> so we want to grow, but we also want to engage. We want to have a better relationship with each other. We want to know what those 8.8 .8 million instances every day are being used for. We want to make sure that your, your performance gets better, that, your develop, that our development is addressing your needs, that our users have a voice in our community. <coughs> we also want to be part of a broader ecosystem. We know that um, a large portion of you are integrating with databases and frameworks, and almost half of you are actually deploying in containers, docker, docker, docker. Um, that <clears throat> you use load balancers like Nginx, and that we, we want to make sure that we have the relationships not only within our own community, but within these other technologies so that they work together well. If you noticed on the, uh, the schedule this week, uh, we have uh, JS Foundation um, has a track, and Chris Borchers, the executive director of the JS Foundation, will be speaking later. <clears throat> we want to bring those, those projects into the Node ecosystem, and we want to make sure that they are um, complementing each other. So that's a really important thing when you grow up, when you become mainstream, that you're part of a bigger tent. And this is how this works. As we increase, this is, this is actually the Mark Hinkle patent pending open source power law. Um, and it, it basically works like this. As we increase our, our awareness, people participate in our discussions. As they participate in our discussions, they participate in development, QA, and eventually evangelize, distribute, and stand Node.js. And then people in that ecosystem buy services from people who sell them, or they hire developers, or they engage in commerce. As after we, we've had plenty of awareness, our next step is to engage with our users and do a better job of that. Um, and as we do that, I want everyone here who has the uh, ambition to participate in our survey so we know what you need and how we can get better. We also, the Node.js is a foundation. So Node.js' foundation is to enable that ecosystem to engage, encourage participation, and make it a sustainable ecosystem for the long term. And just so you understand how this foundation works, I thought I would give you a little 
um, primer. I guess somebody did not like that font. So we have a board of directors, and that board of directors is made up of our members who are corporate sponsors, um, people like IBM, Microsoft, um, Red Hat. We also have individual directors that are um, voted on by, by our individual members. Uh, we have <clears throat> the uh, chair of the TSC, um, uh, Miles Burns, who's just um, recently been the new TSC director. We also have a community committee, and that community committee is a volunteer committee. Um, Tierney and Rachel are our new uh, co-chairs of the community committee. They help drive the <clears throat> non-coding contributions to the project. But all in all, it is an effort of enterprises, users, developers, and interested, passionate community members who want to see our technology do well. And here, here are our, our, our <clears throat> Node.js Foundation members. Uh, without their help, we couldn't put on uh, Node Interactive. We couldn't fund travel for developers to get together. For those of you that are part of the Collaboration Summit later this week, um, their support is critical. So after we've grown and we've engaged, we need to educate. And we not, not just educate individuals on the technical aspects of Node.js, but we need to educate the market and others on why Node.js is useful and they should be considering it for their use. One of the things that we do is we talk to the press and analysts. Um, this is something that came from Forrester Research earlier this year. Um, they, you know, we tell them, they tell you, and they tell your peers, and it helps us to engage, to get your, your company's permission to engage with Node.js. Um, we also have Node School, and this is one of the, the strengths of the Node community that I really like, is this is a self-organized effort of education around the world. There have been over 30, 730 events worldwide so far. Anyone can put on the Node School. Um, volunteers participate in virtually every geography. And they help, uh, they're volunteer run, and they help others become involved with Node. Um, another initiative that I think is, is really interesting is the uh, Code and Learns. Our Code and Learns uh, allow you to get started with Node.js and get your first um, <clears throat> PR submitted on your first day, or second, or third, or fourth. Um, this, I believe, is our um, <clears throat> some folks from Oakland who ran our Code and Learn. And finally, part of growing up is having a uh, certification and being able to quantify how well our education initiatives are working. So uh, this week we are launching the beta of the Node.js certification, um, Node.js certified developer. Uh, Tracy Hines, our education manager, has done a lot of work to organize our community members to uh, come up with a <clears throat> certification process that is comprehensive and informed by people who actually develop Node.js. Um, it is a vendor neutral certification, which I think is, is great and important. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you that have participated in the uh, development, I thank you. And those who will be participating in the beta, uh, we look forward to your feedback. So, anyhow. Well, I wanted to thank everyone uh, for being here today. And I would uh, uh, encourage you to get to know each other. Uh, Feel free to come up and talk to me, um, all of the other uh, Node.js Foundation people. We, uh, we want to know why you're here and what you want to learn, and enjoy Node Interactive. So thank you very much. <laughs>